I am strong. I am fearless. I am courageous. I am beautiful. I can do all things. I am created to be me. I am a woman. And I am funky. What I need is I need people to come over here and visit me because I'm losing my mind. All right, let me see if I can make this. I don't know. I've never even... Hey! Are you kidding me? There's no arch. Why are you throwing them so... <laughs> we have nothing else to do because no one is here. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, sh oh. oh, I hit the TV and... Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> are you kidding me? Life is all about special moments, joy, uplifting our youth, keeping active, and having conversations with our friends, even lusting over our shoes, and dancing when no one is watching. Welcome to Sheila E. TV. My conversation today is with an artist who comes from Cuba. This Cuban-American singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman started her career as the lead singer in a group called Miami Latin Boys. Woo, yes, which later became known as Miami Sound Machine. She has been honored and has so many awards, we can't even list them all, seriously. Please welcome my beautiful friend, Ms. Gloria Estefan. Hey, hey, amiga. I'm so happy to see you. You look fantastic and incredible and amazing. You're getting so are younger. You. You're getting younger. Girls. That's what's happening. Well, thank you. I wish. I'm three months older than you. I know. Only three months. Yeah. Wow. So how are you dealing with all of this that's going on now? I mean, how are you guys getting through all of this? Well, first of all, like that puppy that you got walking around, I got five <laughs> dogs. Oh, my so gosh. So thank God that we have the little furry family to be able to keep us sane. Exactly. You know what? It's been it's been really an interesting time. I love being home and probably like you, I had right. spent two years that I was on the road, like with On Your Feet and, you know, setting up the show in a million different places and scurrying about doing 5,000 things. So I can't complain. I mean, I was really happy to be home, get in my attic, take everything out that had been there for the last 30 years, <laughs> organize every closet. Oh, gosh. Stuff that I had never really been able to do. Sure. And thankfully, with the technology, you know, you stay in touch. Of course, you miss people and it's scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had COVID. Back I know. I wouldn't have known I was sick had I not lost the taste and smell. Right. And then a bit of a cough because my immune system is on point. So... Yeah, you I take care lucky. of yourself. Yeah, I was you take one of the care. lucky ones that, you know, yeah. that didn't take me down. But I've had a lot of friends that have been hospitalized and everything. People we've lost. Yeah, you know, same here. Tough. Yeah, it's tough. I know. It's. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are getting through it. And I'm glad that you're fine. I, you know, when I saw on the news that, you know, you had posted you were sick, I'm like, wait, what? What's happening? Yeah. You and know? that was after because I didn't post it until I was okay. Exactly. I so, tried to share my experience, you know, so they could learn. Yeah. To, no, I, I think that that's good that you posted after. They're really important because I think posting, yeah, I have it. I'm going to go through it. I think the pressure and the stress of trying to get well and freaking out, you did the right thing. And so yeah. I was happy to hear at the end of your conversation. Thanks. And I'm fine. I'm going, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I said it every day. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Yes, so I want to go back to, we met, If I, I don't know if you remember the first time we met. I think I remember this was the first time we met. It was, I was um, on the Purple Rain tour. I think you were playing San Francisco and uh, Conga was out, the, the single that you guys had out. And I think it was San Francisco at a club and I heard you guys were playing and I went to the club to meet you. Was that not the first time we met? I think so. Wow. Because I was already a huge fan of yours and... Um, you know, I was so thrilled because, and you know, you get nervous because whenever somebody that you admire <laughs> and love and, you know, respect comes to see you, it's like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> I get nervous. I know. Yeah. We so were so long. excited to see you guys perform because we love that song. And it's like to have a, uh, a band that was playing Latin pop music and, you know, playing real instruments and with so, all the perk, you know, percussion yeah. that's so yeah. much a part of what we do. And yeah, it was so much fun. I remember walking in and I know you guys were a little nervous. I was nervous seeing you, but I was more excited. It's like, yes, we get to hear some salsa music and, you know, a little bit of flavor of, you know, what you guys brought. We had so much fun. That was such a great show. And we've been family ever since. I mean, that's yes, 1985. It's a long yes, time ago. Yes, we have. You've been there for us, by the way. I, I got to thank you because in our most important moments and my most important record, because honestly, to me, they asked me if there was one record I could leave behind, which is a really tough question because I love them all. You know, they're like yeah. your kids. Yeah. Guerra you know, was so important. And to have you on that record and so many times that you've you've said, okay, I'm here with you, you know, so many times that you've performed with, with us. And I, I got to thank you for being Aww. so unconditional and loving. And, Aww. you know, I appreciate no, thank that very you. much. No, thank you. you. You guys as well, you and your family, when we've asked for you guys to come and help us out and sing on on the first ever Escovito family, the E family I know, record. how exciting. That was so much fun, you know? Gosh, that I mean, and we've done so many things together. You guys had put together the first ever Latin Grammy. Yeah, the that, Latin Grammys. Yeah. Yeah, and we were so thrilled because, you know, Emilio worked for years with Mike Green right. trying to get this to happen. As that you was know, incredible. I know. We were thrilled. And imagine Celia Cruz and Ricky and <sighs> yeah. you and, oh, my gosh. Everyone coming together, that was, that was huge. You guys opened the door for so many things that have become bigger than you can even imagine. And, but it's just the, the, the heart and the thought behind opening that door for the Hispanic people. I think that was amazing. It was oh, really thank nice. You. Listen, you know, people did it for us. Yes. You know, for me, it was Santana, Feliciano, and even way back before them, yeah. I was a kid watching Desi Arnaz singing Babalu <laughs> on I Love Lucy on American television and singing in Spanish. Wow. And to me, and even like the Mambo with Perez yeah. Prado and, yes. you know, uh, Cachao, everything he did, all the percussionists yes. that played with, you know, Dizzy Gillespie and with, with Quincy that were yeah. Latinos, you know, Candido, Camero, people that wouldn't mm -hmm. be household names, but that I knew because I was, I love music and I was, grew up in that, in that world. Yeah. But to see that happening and then to be able to push that door open a little more, you know, was a big honor and a privilege. Huge. You always try. And that's why we always wanted to help out other Latin artists because mm -hmm. everybody would always tell us, I'm sure you know, no, this isn't going to work. You're too American for the Latin. You're too Latin for the Americans. I'm going, that's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I know. Yeah, that, that was huge. You, you guys have blessed so many people um, and all the things that you guys have done. Um, and now you're like doing other things. I probably, if I would, if someone would have asked me, do you think that Gloria would uh, do Facebook Red no. table talk, like, and I'm like, no, she's pretty private. I don't think so. I can't believe it. I was shocked when I saw the commercial. Yeah. Wow. Like, I'm sure you were. I'll tell you what, when I saw what Jada did, and, yeah. uh, I thought she was very brave, her and her family. But then when they came to invite me, I was out in L.A., actually. And I said, one day, if the right thing comes along, maybe I'll think about it, whatever. So they come and they tell me this thing, and they go, you know, we'd really love it to be you and your daughter and your niece, Lily, because wow. it's three generations of women like Jada. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was like growing the, their franchise. So I'm thinking to myself, I knew the kind of topics that 
were done on the show and the whole vibe of the thing. And I thought, okay, you know, this could be really cool because at this point in my life, I've lived so much and my fans are kind of like family. And I think right. we could really make a bit of a difference if we do this honestly. Wow. And, yes. Um, we're public people. So no matter how we try, and I am a very private person, but yeah, no matter how you try, your stuff gets put out there. Yes. So <laughs> I said, look, I'm interested. I need to check with Emily, who's also incredibly private, and Lily, who does a daily talk show on her own for 30 years. She's been on TV. Yeah. And we talked amongst ourselves and we said, look, if we're going to do this, yeah. we're going to do this. Yeah. Because what's the point? You know, if we're going to open ourselves up, we wanted to help other people uh, realize that we're all human beings sharing exactly. this common experience. And just because you're a celebrity doesn't make you immune to no. all the difficulties in the yeah. world. Yeah. So, no, uh, I think it's an incredible show. You ladies are doing great. And honest, you know, truthful, you know, you laugh, you cry, you just, it, and to really see that, it's like, wow, that's a huge step. And it's very powerful. And I think, you know, we're celebrating women as we're celebrating you now in this month of March. I always say we're celebrating one month every day. Every month should be Women's <laughs> Women's Absolutely. Day. Yeah. And it is, really. It is, but, it yeah. is. But in, in, that, in that sense of, you know, Having the three of you together in three de generations and speaking together as women, I mean, what can you say about that? How important it's so is that? Important. Yeah. It is so important. And Latinos have a little bit of a tough time talking about the things that we really need to talk about, mm -hmm. you know, and I think it happens with everyone because this thing's gone all over the world and we've gotten so much amazing response that says, oh my gosh, you opened the door to me being able to talk to my mom about this, that I had. I couldn't touch that subject. And when I saw you and your daughter going through it, the episode with Emily, you know, the yeah. sexual which is, had, has over, I don't know how much now, but it had well over 10 million views. Wow. And when do you ever get that kind of an interaction? Because people sure. literally go on the page, talk to each other, mm -hmm. answer. There's red table talk families all over that the U S from Jada's show. Sure. It's important. You know, this isn't the kind of thing that I was able to do with my grandma and my mom, because my right. mom, if just the word sex would, oh, she would <laughs> freak out. But I know that I know that had we been able to talk about a lot of things that happened in our lives, I think she would have been happier. And I found ways, by the way, around it with her that in my own way, my psychology, because I studied that as well, it helps. <laughs> that I was able to put her at ease about a lot of things that she might have felt guilty about throughout her life or that maybe she didn't really express sure. because she they didn't know how. You sure, know? exactly. They saw children in a different way. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't have told my mom, Mom, let's do this today. Or no, I don't want, I don't want to go here. Are you kidding me? It was like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a phrase in Spanish, los niños hablan cuando las gallinas mean. You know what that means? Like children speak when chickens pee and chickens don't pee. it all comes together you know like it oh happens. my god you know, it was just like shut up you have no you know nothing to say about this and i, I think know. it's important that to move forward sure and now especially with social media that communication is going so wrong in many ways yeah thing it fascinates me i studied both psychology and communication so i i watch that like a hawk it's wonderful in many ways, but in many ways, it's making things very complicated for our young people and sure. like it's making anger rampant because people just have free reign to mm -hmm. anonymously spew crazy stuff into the world. Mm -hmm. But it's important that we talk and that we talk the right way. That's why this was such a, a good avenue. Wow. We never discussed any topic before. Really? Uh, we got wow. to the So I just thought it was perfect and we need to do a lot more of this kind of communication in our families you know yeah. really. and I think that's why the response and what you're doing with your family is so huge um people are talking about it they love it I heard you got picked up for 12 more yes. episodes congratulations yes. Woo! yes we're already I mean there were some shows that were already on on the burner there that we couldn't do so those will definitely be there and we're talking about all kinds of what kind of topics we want to get into we're very excited Good. Also, it helps that we love each other and like each other too. Yes, that's really important. We spend a lot of time together. You can't make that up. That kind no. of chemistry has to be there or, or not. 
So, that's yeah, good. You it's can't good. Fake that. Can't yeah, fake no, it. you can't fake that. That's real. And that's what's so beautiful about it. It's so real. It's honest. It's truthful. I don't know. I think it's blessing and helping a lot of people deal with things and, again, confronting each other about yeah. being able and to I communicate. I cried so much. Jeez. <laughs> I said, okay, this next round, can we please <laughs> do stuff that is not. And I'm not a crier. I'm like the I most know. person. But that's good, though. It's healthy. That yes, you got to let is. all that out. It's just, just it healing. It's but you know, healing. we're funny people too. So we want to focus on that. <laughs> Don't get some of that humor out there too. <laughs> you will. Well, you're making me laugh today. I have two more questions for you. You have a, a new album, or it actually, was, it came out last year. It was, um, yeah. yeah, the new album. It's going to come out on vinyl, Brazil 305. It is. Brazil 305. Yeah, that record, which really was inspired because my mom was a huge Carmen Miranda fan. And then later on, oh. um, all the greats, Jobim and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Elise Regina and everybody. Mm -hmm. And she played those records for me. And, you know, it was supposed to come out in 17. And right the week that I was going into the studio, I went to my mom's house. She made me sing her the whole album. And right after that, she got sick. And I ended up not being able to put on the vocals for a year because I oh. couldn't sing. When I lost it. Jeez. Oh. So music finds its best moment. Mm. And uh, it came out at a time where people really needed some joy and uplifting. So Cuando Hay Amor, the first single that came out in June of, uh, you know, of last year. Last year, yeah. People were so sad. Yeah. So I'm happy to put some joy out there and some rhythm, some more rhythm. Yeah. It really it's beautiful. Great across the board all over the world. So I'm happy. That it's yeah. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so the last thing we want to do with you is rapid fire. Yes, oh, you know, I know you're it's gonna a have psychological a psychological test. You know. <laughs> it's a psychological test. Come on, you. <laughs> yeah. One minute. Here we go. Right. As, as fast as I can do this. Here we go. All right, rum or tequila? Tequila. <laughs> Toilet paper up or down? Over. Over. That down. Is. Baths or showers? Showers. Ah, congas or timbales? Uh, how can I pick timbales? Uh, timbales. Paris or the Bahamas? Let's see. Bahamas. Bahamas. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Mm -hmm. Antonio Absolutely. Bandera or Jason Moma? Antonio Bandera. <laughs> exactly. He's I love you. I know. I love you for that. I know. I know he's. I knew you were going to pick Antonio. I love you for that. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Well, I love you, my sister. It's nice Thank seeing you. you. I love even, you. Even Congratulations on this show. Thank you. And may you enjoy every moment of it. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being you. And please give hugs and kisses to the family. I will. Likewise right. to that whole Big E family. <laughs> They're all E's. There's something about that letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my love. Bye. Bye. Take okay. care. Bye. Mwah. Yes. Gloria Estefan, my sister. I love you so much. I love the family. Mm. Thank you for a wonderful conversation with you and congratulations on all that you're doing. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of Sheila E TV. We love you. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Okay, for real. <laughs> See ya next uh, a week. Uh, uh, yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Hello, and welcome back. Oh, wait. How did you all hook up? You go ahead and ask me. Yeah, go. <laughs> Uh, she called me to, to come play on her album. And uh, it was, was about two months ago. Yeah, quite Something a, like yes. that, yeah. Feels and, like longer. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I flew to Miami and played on the record. And they've been doing dates around the world. And 
I was here. I'm getting ready to leave tomorrow, but I said I got to do this show. Just going to Japan. We're big fans, so uh, yeah. we wanted this album really to be a bridge from uh, the past, which is the style of it, to the present, which is the new songs. And obviously, we had to have fantastic Sheila E as percussionist. We have Tito Puente and Ooh. wonderful, wonderful percussionist. So you all weren't old friends or anything? We oh. met, no, but we met before. We met before a long time ago, about five years ago. Yeah. I we went to see her. Together. No, but we've never worked together. I was so nervous. She went to check our show. <laughs> I was, what was it, uh, Wolfgangs or something in San Francisco? San Francisco, yeah. Yeah, I was freaking out. I go, oh, God, she leaves in the audience. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about the drums? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Wow. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a taboo instrument for women until you kind of made it popular. And it's something unique and different? Well, I didn't think, basically, I didn't think it was a, a male instrument because I grew up listening and playing uh, because of my dad. And uh, I didn't know until I got into the industry, like, professionally, I had come out to L.A., and I didn't know that men really resented me playing, you know. And uh, it was very hard, but, I mean, I don't try to do it purposely. I just play from my heart. Qué alegría sí señor de mi Cuba todo el mundo yo no sé cómo empezó y para aquel que lo inventó yo le rindo este tributo y aunque el tiempo pasará es nuestra responsabilidad a través de la canción servir como educación 